In this tutorial, we are going to start covering how to use the material editor, how to navigate around it, and how to get comfortable using it. Let's open up the content browser, and let's filter by materials, and let's click on all assets to view all of the materials in UDK. There are two ways to access the material editor. The first way is to create your own new material if you right click on any of the gray space in between materials or any other assets in the preview window pane you can create new material going through this menu it will open up the material editor that is blank and it will allow you to create a new material to use and I'm going to cover this in another tutorial on how to create your own materials the second way is to double click on any already created materials so let's find the material that we want to open up let's use this floors BSP organic 15b simply double click and it will open up the material editor for that particular material it will allow you to edit update or see how this material was constructed the material editor is where you construct your own shaders in order for you to use that material in your level any given material consists of various expression nodes that are connected and combined together to give you the final output that you see here in the preview window. To navigate around in the preview window, if you right click and drag the mouse back and forth, this will move the camera forward and back. If you left click and drag the mouse, this will pan the camera and move the camera around the object. If you middle mouse click and drag, this will move the camera to another position. We can also reposition the light by holding down the L key and then moving the mouse around and this will reposition the light in the preview window to see the object better. Here at the top we can change the preview shape to a cylinder, a cube, a sphere or a single plane. We can also replace the shape to a static mesh. So if we have an object, a 3D model that we use this material on, we can use that model to preview it instead of using one of these default shapes. To do that, let's jump over to the content browser and let's look for a static mesh that we can use. So I'm going to filter by static meshes and let's filter by wall. Let's grab this wall SM flat. I'm going to close the content browser and with that object selected if we use this arrow right at the top of the toolbar this will use the selected static mesh and let's move our light and position that static mesh in the preview this is more ideal when you have a specific static mesh that you're using that material on you can get more working space in this main area by dragging any of these panels and creating a little more working space for yourself. You can also X out any of these window panels to give yourself a little bit more room to work with. If you ever need to bring back any of the panes that we closed, we simply go up to window and bring back the properties or bring back any other panel that we closed. So let's go ahead and close this off to give ourselves a little bit more working space. You'll be spending most of your time here in the main working space, constructing your materials. You'll be using different material expressions, which can be found here in the material expression panel, and you'll be dragging them into the working area to construct your final material. You can also access the same material expression panel that you see here on the right by right clicking in the working area. And this will give you the same choices. To navigate around in this main working area, if you right click, or left click and drag the mouse this will pan you around if you hold the right and the left mouse button move back and forward this will zoom you in and zoom you out you can also use the mouse wheel to go forward and zoom out back if you left click on any of the material expressions it will select them now let me bring back our properties by selecting any of the nodes, the property windows will change depending on the node that you have selected. And if we deselect anything that we have selected, we will have the properties for the material itself. We can also left click on this preview material. This will select the same property box. And here are the main properties of the material itself. 
And if you made any changes or updates to an existing material or when you create your own material by going up to the toolbar right on the left hand side and apply changes to original material and use this in the world. And by left clicking, we'll save that material. In the next couple of tutorials, we'll take this a bit further and import our own textures and create our first material.